Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kelly Johnson, and I'm a provider development officer here at NCFE. Welcome to part two of our RSHE series in partnership with Jigsaw PSHE. If you missed the first one, we will share a link with you after this webinar to, uh, to both webinars, so you can watch them at your leisure. Today, I'm going to be sharing some information which can help you with your delivery of relationships, sex and health education. We're also very pleased to have John, Jan Lever with us today, who is the creator and CEO of Jigsaw. Jan will talk you through the available Jigsaw resources a little later in the webinar and will be around later in the webinar to answer any questions that you may have. I'll be sharing some further contact details at the end of the session. So if you have any questions about any of the topics or products I cover today, please feel free to get in touch. As mentioned, today's session is focused on RSHE and we'll be looking at a number of key themes. I'm going to start with the government guidance on statutory RSHE and the journey we have been on to get where we are now. I'll touch on some of the challenges facing schools following the publication of the guidance. I'll then take a more in-depth look at our qualifications in RSHE, which can help you to structure your RSHE provision and help you to hit those key Ofsted markers. I'll talk you through how they map to the government guidance, as well as assessing our RSHE qualifications and the quality assurance process. I'll also show you the available resources and teaching materials, as well as our parent guide. And lastly, our, how our RSHE qualifications can support SEND learners and explain why RSHE works with SEND learners from Meadowcroft School in Wakefield. So let's have a look at RSHE and the statutory guidance from the government. When the government published the new guidance in 2019, it was hailed as a historic shakeup to RSE provision, as the previous guidance had remained relatively untouched for 19 years. So think about how much the world has changed in 19 years. We've now all got mobile phones, social media, access to the internet at our fingertips, and these all pose very different challenges to young people. So we were well overdue a shake up in this area. By the standards of the old guidance, pupils would be at risk of leaving school feeling unprepared for many challenges of modern life and many of the key topics affect, affecting this generation of young people, which, uh, which would have been overlooked. For example, the Sex Education Forum conducted a survey of young people back in 2018, and they found that the most neglected topics in RSHE were pornography, FGM, which is female genital mutilation, and sexual pleasure. In addition to this, they found that 46% of the respondents said that they didn't feel they had learnt enough, if anything in some cases, about LGBT plus issues at school, and that was only three years ago. So, like I said, the 2019 guidance was an absolute milestone moment for the sector and a huge step in the right direction for the adequate provision of RSHE. And it's really going to put schools under the microscope a little bit now, as the guidance stipulates that all schools must have a written policy in place for relationships and sex education. And this must include a definition of RSE, subject content, schemes of work, how it will be monitored and evaluated, and also how the content is accessible for all pupils, including SEND learners. So there is a lot to do. Now I just wanted to highlight a few snippets from the guidance and the DfE are looking for. They're looking for high quality, evidence-based age appropriate teaching. They want a sequenced program of learning, which will cover the key building blocks of healthy, respectful relationships, both on and offline. They're also expecting mental health to be a central theme of RSHE to help foster well-being and resilience among young people. So there's a lot in there. And while the guidance clearly states these topics which should be taught, it doesn't offer a standardised delivery framework, which leaves schools responsible for planning lessons, sourcing materials and remaining informed about RSHE subject matter. Our aim today is to help you feel as prepared as possible so that you're ready and informed about delivering RSHE in your school. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about our suite of RSHE qualifications for year seven through to year 11 pupils, which were developed in collaboration with Jan Lever at Jigsaw, the Sex Education Forum and CASH. 
Cash is part of the NC NCFE family and it is the leading sector specialist in care, health and education. So a real supergroup of RSE, RSHE specialists. So we at NCFE uh, and CASH really wanted to help schools to meet all of the government regulations with our RSHE qualifications, which were literally mapped to 100% of the government guidance. We really wanted to develop something that gives schools that bulletproof product, the gold standard of RSHE provision. We know that Ofsted's inspectors will be considering the RSHE part as part of a wider judgment of pupils' personal development. So as well as these qualifications giving you that much needed structure in your delivery of RSHE, they're also going to enable you to capture the progress of your learners in this subject area and ultimately help you to demonstrate those three eyes for the Ofsted inspections. The final benefit, I think, of running these qualifications is that you're able to give your learners valuable recognition of their achievement in RSHE. And this is especially pertinent for SEND learners or those in alternative provision as they will gain a qualification at the end of their program of RSHE study. The workbooks and resources from Jigsaw are also, are also a fantastic tool for documenting some of the evidence to demonstrate a pupil's understanding of the key learning objectives to contribute towards that portfolio. And finally, I am really excited today to tell you about our exclusive offer. From the 1st of December of this year until the 30th of April 2022, all RSHE units, awards and certificates will be half price. With everything going on, we wanted to ensure that these qualifications were affordable for everyone so that you can all be as prepared as possible for your RSHE provision. Now let's take a little bit uh, more of a closer look at our qualifications. Our RSHE qualifications are extremely flexible. The suite of qualifications are available in three sizes suitable for different year groups as well as individual units. So schools can choose the best provision that suits them and their learners with high quality classroom ready resources available from Jigsaw to support your delivery. So just to give you a quick breakdown of the qualification structures, these are really flexible in the way that you can deliver them and we really wanted to give you as many options as possible. So the qualification is broken down into five individual units and those are designed for each of the secondary school year groups. So running from year seven all the way through to year 11. And this breakdown is also directly uh, matched to the, G the jigsaw resources. So you can register pupils unit by unit if you wish, and they will get a, a unit certificate at the end of the year. Or we recommend that you register them on either of the two awards. So the level one award covers your year seven and year eight content and the level two award covers your year nine, 10 and 11 content. This allows them to gain an award either in year eight or year 11 at the end of that program. Alternatively, you could also register them onto the full uh, level two certificate and have them gain the full certification at the end of year 11 once they've completed all of the five units which are required. Running RSHE as a qualification is really easy to do, especially if you're already delivering the RSHE content through Jigsaw as you're halfway there. You can find out more about the pricing of these qualifications and the process for becoming an NCFE centre on our website, which you can find details of, of that at the end of this webinar. So from year seven to year 10, it is 36 guided learning hours for each of the units. And in year 11, it's 24 guided learning hours for the remaining unit. This will enable you to free up some time for revision and other GCSE priorities. There are no external assessment uh, examinations required. It's all portfolio based evidence, which is assessed and internally quality assured by centre staff and externally quality assured by NCFE. So we provide pupil workbooks, which are available for free on our website and will help you to build your pu pupils portfolio of evidence and demonstrate their understanding of the key learning objectives. The workbooks can be altered to meet your specific needs or you can create your own portfolio and or assessment methods. If you do create your own assessment methods, you should check with your external quality assurer if it is acceptable.
visit qualhub.co.uk where you can search for all our RSHE qualifications. On Qualhub, on the qualification specification page, you will find out uh, more detailed information about the qualification, including a high level overview of the qualification, the guided learning hours, the total qualification time, and much more. You can also shortlist the qualification for approval on this page. It also includes the specification, a support handbook, the mapping document, and the RSHE guide for parents. Furthermore, in the teaching materials section, you will also find the schemes of work and the workbooks for all the units, which are free to download, but you will need a portal login to access, access them. And it is usually your exams officer that can help you with this. And lastly, there is also the external link to the Jigsaw website. As I referred to on the last slide, there is a mapping document and this mapping document was designed to provide reassurance that everything is absolutely covered and that the content is very much lifted from the government criteria. The mapping document covers all aspects of the qualification, include, uh, including within RSHE, families, respectful relationships, online and media, being safe and intimate sexual relationships. And then in the physical health and mental well-being, it covers mental well-being, internet safety, physical health and safety, healthy eating, drugs, alcohol and tobacco, health and prevention, and the changing adolescent body. You can also see parts of the content that are covered in each of the units. With the NCFE qualifications, you, like I said, you will receive free schemes of work, free schemes of work and workbooks to aid support and delivery. The schemes of work for each unit are free to download in the teacher materials tab on Qualhub, as already mentioned, and they can be also used alongside jigsaw resources to plan your delivery. On top of that, as an NCFE centre, you'll also have access to our in-house curriculum team who are there to support you with any questions you have around delivering our qualifications and access to all our CPD events through the year. Workbooks are also available on our website for learners to use to populate with their evidence. The workbooks can be altered to meet your specific needs or you can create your own portfolio and or assessment methods. Again, if you do create your own assessment methods, do check with your external quality assurer if they are, are acceptable. We do also endorse Jigsaw um, and their resources. And at this point, I'm now going to hand over to Jan Lever, who will talk you through the amazing Jigsaw resources that they offer. Brilliant. Thank you, Kelly. Um, and uh, thank you for inviting me today. Uh, so I'm Jan Lever, creator and CEO of Jigsaw, and we're really delighted to be partnering and with NCFE and to be endorsed um, by them for the Jigsaw 11 to 16 programme. So it's Jigsaw, the mindful approach to PSHE. And, and very quickly, this really is a programme that, um, that really covers every aspect of PSHE and integrates all of the statutory requirements for RSHE within that whole school program. So the way Jigsaw is structured, there's, uh, there's um, six modules in each year group. And this we actually start with age three and go all the way through to age 16. So six modules, there are the, the modules are sequential, they build on each other as they go from the beginning to the end of the school year. And each of those six modules has six lesson plans within it. And all of the lesson plans have all of the resources needed to deliver that each lesson. And each lesson plan has a very brief overview, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen. But then the lesson itself is actually a slideshow with teacher notes under each slide and with audio and so on built into the slides where needed mindfulness practice in every lesson. So the beauty of the Jigsaw program um, in, in conjunction, using Jigsaw in conjunction with the NCFE awards is that it's the, the Jigsaw materials are totally aligned to the learning objectives of the awards for year seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, Literally, they can't be more in sync. So the uh, scheme of work that 
um, that Kelly showed you just now is exactly follows exactly the same um, structure and uh, sequence as the jigsaw materials. Uh, the difference is that jigsaw puts the flesh on the bones because um, we've got literally got lesson plans and all the teaching materials you need to deliver uh, the program and be compliant with all of the statutory requirements and gives you evidence um, for uh, entering your young people into the um, NCFE RSHE awards. So, um, as I say, there are six units for each year group, six lessons within each unit, and lesson six of each of those units. It, um, also, we consider that to be a recap on the previous five lessons learning, and it's an opportunity to uh, have young people really show you what they've learned over that previous five lessons. So just as the um, RSHE awards have work sample workbooks, lesson six of every jigsaw unit also has a workbook. Um, the learning objectives from the awards and the portfolio requirements of the awards are word for word the same in the jigsaw workbooks so that you know if you are using Jigsaw as your teaching program, the workbook at the end of each of the units uh, can be completed either on, can be printed and, and completed as paper copy or can be completed by us by our students online. Um, but you can be assured that we've aligned the Jigsaw workbooks exactly with the criteria for the awards. So this will give you um, an easy way, not just to teach the materials necessary for your young people to be entered, but also a way to collect the evidence they need for their portfolios. And just to reinforce, really, uh, you can see on here that all of the jigsaw materials are, um, are accessed through our portal, through our online portal. And left-hand side of the screen, you can see it's so easy to navigate. It's, it's really, really easy because you go in, um, there's a whole school button which gives you access to all of the materials that are needed by the whole school, like the workbooks, but also you've got a button for each year group. Group. Um, they're sequential, the progressions there, their attainment targets, summative assessment processes, as well as all of the teaching materials. So um, I talked about the workbooks already. You can either use the workbooks for each of the six units individually, or what we've also done is we've put together a year seven workbook, a year eight workbook, and so on. And those, the year seven one has all six units workbooks collated into one place. So it really helps the students actually see the progression in their learning through the year as well. So um, any questions, uh, please don't be afraid to ask, jan at janlevergroup.com. Um, but as Kelly said already, there's information on our website, jigsawpshe.com. We'll be only too pleased to tell you more information about how Jigsaw could work for you. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks for that, Jan. That was really informative and your resources are just so great. And as the DfE have said, evidence of learning and progress is essential to meet statutory RSHE requirements. Please note um, for those that are, uh, have attended today that either the NCFE or Jigsaw workbooks can be used and it's entirely up to you. It's whatever you prefer. So the guide for parents. There is a guide for parents that is available in the support materials on the qualification specification page on QualHub. This guide can be used by parents so that they have an understanding of the content of the qualification, their rights, and why RSHE is now a mandatory part of the curriculum. Parents should approach the school and that there will be signposted to the appropriate staff to discuss further if needed. In addition, parents can also access the statutory guidance directly from the government.uk website. And to find more uh, about the relationship sex health education qualifications from CASH, you can contact, contact us directly at RSHE parents at cash.org.uk.
Now, SEND learners may be more vulnerable to specific challenges which RSHE can help to address. Meadowcroft School in Wakefield works specifically with SEN learners and is, e and is using our RSHE qualifications to ensure its young learners can build happy and healthy, healthy lives inside and outside of the classroom. Learners at Meadowcroft School have been undertaking our relationship sex and health education qualifications, working specifically with SEN pupils and those who have complex or additional learning needs many who have previously struggled in mainstream formal education. The school spend time getting to know each learner individually so that they can help them to overcome barriers that prevent them from engaging in education. Natalie O'Donnell, a teacher at Meadowcroft School explained, we know each child well enough to be able to set ambitious, realistic targets and put in place a structure of support to ensure they achieve them. And success looks very, very different for each child. So we take time to build personal plans and celebrate the progress they make. Natalie also told us that it's been very straightforward to deliver these qualifications and the scheme of work has really helped with planning and the workbooks that have been provided um, for the assessment. The jigsaw scheme of work also matches the qualification criteria and provides PowerPoint presentations, as Jan has already said also videos and worksheets to supplement the lessons planned by teachers. Natalie has said that she would recommend these qualifications as pupils gain important knowledge to equip them for life. And as we've said, all the statutory government guidance is covered and the pupils gain a nationally recognised qualification. So to summarise, offering RSHE qualifications will help structure the structure of the RSHE provision as they will ensure that you meet the Department for Education requirements in this area. For those that you attended the Jigsaw webinar last week on personal development in the EIF, you'll remember how important it is not only to ensure you're delivering a great programme for your pupils, but that you're also ensuring that your pupils have remembered what you have taught them. These provide a great evidence base as you can show learner understanding through the achievement of the qualifications. They also give pupils the valuable recognition of achievement. And finally, there are free resources included with the qualifications from NCFE and enhanced resources available from Jigsaw that will help support great delivery and assessment. At this point, I just wanted to pause um, to say thank you for your time today and I hope you found it useful. And if there were any questions that you would like to ask, please do pop them into the chat box and myself and Jan um, will keep an eye out for the questions and answer them as they come in. There doesn't appear to be any questions coming through, so that's absolutely fine. If you do want to find out more information um, or if you have any questions that you think about after the webinar, um, and want to find out more information about anything you've heard from us today, you can visit our website and also please do, please do visit Jigsaw's website at www.jigsawphse.com for more information. Furthermore, if you would like to gain approval to deliver NCFE qualifications or add RSHE as an additional qualification, you can contact your account manager or email the business development team and the, those details are on the screen now. If you have any questions about the portal, registering learners, et cetera, you can con contact our customer service team. Again, the contact details are on the screen. And lastly, if you require one-to-one -one support with delivering assessment or are interested in any of our CPD events, please do feel free to contact me directly. Or if I'm unavailable, then please do email the provider development team. Alternatively, you can contact Jigsaw directly and their details can be found on their website. At this point, I'd like to say thanks for listening. And on behalf of everyone here at NCFE, we wish you a safe and successful year. Thanks, Jan, and th thanks, Mark. Really, really do appreciate you being uh, being with here with us today. That's really beneficial. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you, Kelly. No. Thank you.